or, but I'm sure it's gonna change soon. I haven't been completely honest with you. These jewels and everything that you get, and I see like how happy you are, I can't give that to you. I don't have $80 million. Previously on Joe Millionaire, David feels the pressure as the women put him in the hot seat. Why is it such a special story? How many people do you know have $80 million? They're like piranha, just asking me all these questions. But where is the hurricane now? We didn't believe that he flew his horse over. That's another lie I shouldn't have said. The women wonder if their Prince Charming is all he seems. I'm not born yesterday. I think he has something up his sleeve. While David questions their true intentions. One thing I found, these European girls are really forward. They're not afraid to ask you, how'd you get the 80 million? And in the battle to win David's affection, the women come out swinging. She can't have the game. I don't play games. I hope everybody stays except Kat. She hates her. She can send her. But in the end, two more ladies must say goodbye. I don't like to have to choose. No hard feelings. Yeah, of course, I'm a little bit sad. is the story of the next Joe Millionaire. Good evening and welcome back to the next Joe Millionaire. Up until now, our hero has been a fish out of water in Europe. But tonight, it will be the young lady's turn. David whisks them away to a magnificent horse ranch in Tuscany, where they will get a taste of his life back home. Like shoveling horse manure, for example. Which of them will pitch in, so to speak? And which of them will turn up their noses at David's cowboy lifestyle? Let's find out, shall we? started having breakfast and Paul came in. We all were like, oh, I think it's going to be a spa trip. Oh, I think it's going to be shopping. Oh, I think it's going to be the beach. Just like David has been learning about your life in Europe, David would now like you to learn about Texas. And to this end, he's inviting all of you to a Tuscan ranch. And to get you in the mood for this, he's purchased you all a present. <laughs> Pack for an overnight stay. Cars will be coming in about 15 minutes to pick you up. Finish up your coffee and come with me and I'll give you your presents. We got some lovely cowboy boots and some hats. It was the first time I was wearing a cowboy hat. I like it. <laughs> Looks cool. When we saw the cowboy boots, we hoped we were going to do horse riding. Uh, For once, we yes. can go riding! Okay, I'll definitely be wearing this one. I'll be such a cowboy. Ooh, ooh. Oh, socks. Or <laughs> <laughs> this? Yeah! I want to go! Yes. This will be super fun today. I look gorgeous with a cowboy head. 
Linda. We are all looking stunning. I was uh, wearing my jeans and we were like feeling like the cowgirls. I never actually had a chance to learn to ride a horse. And I'm excited. I would love him to show me the beauty of horses. Have fun. looking forward to the next few days with these girls. Um, they're finally going to get a taste of, of my world. I'm not this Gucci boy, you know. Uh, I'm a cowboy. And uh, ranching and rodeo, that's what I do. And I'm uh, going to see, you know, if one of these girls will fit my lifestyle. proper making barbecue. It was so nice because we've been so wanted to go and have real barbecue. We had the barbecue cooking yeah. as we oh. speak. Woo! Woo! Man, this this was great. Uh, I got to show these girls, you know, uh, kind of my lifestyle. And the little dancing and the music and the culture that I was brought up. The band is a nice surprise. There was a band playing some music. David seemed to like it. They did pretty good, huh? Yeah. So what do you think about camping? It's cool. When I was a child, we would always go with my parents camping, you know, and singing with guitars. Right. It's, it's very popular in Good. That's cool. I think that the David they attention for Linda. <laughs> Some he made amazing barbecue. Uh, well, so much meat and corn. Anique sat by me and we talked about last night's elimination. When I gave her the necklace, I honestly thought she was pretty rude. She said, if I didn't say thank you for the necklace, I'm sorry. And that was a good gesture, you know, saying, because she was thankful. No, I just thought you were in a bad mood or something. I didn't know. We normally am friendlier. <laughs> no, you, you're friendly. I was just Actually, I'm last so night. unfriendly. I just touch. They always friendly. <laughs> I think now he saw, like, both sides of me, just like I saw both sides of him. After lunch, she was like, so oh, should we have some a pool party? Like, go down to the swimming pool and relax a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big uh, muscle. Eh? I didn't, uh, I didn't know before. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, baby. I can see you back now, baby. Keep working, that booty. How much washing? It's always nice to see a guy <laughs> half naked. Yeah, baby. Cool. He's got a great body. He's very athletic. Alinda wants to see his body, and she was totally freaking out. Well, in that she's so nasty. <laughs> so I think she likes to name it. <laughs> I was like going for the swimming trunks. I saw his butt. <laughs> He's basically fooling around for a bit in the pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you girls pissed off because I'm touching David? <laughs> yes! <laughs> After swimming, there was only enough time to ask a few of the girls if they wanted to go for a sunset ride. Easy, buddy. He said hello again. It's a little hoory. Mm -hmm. He feels jealous oh. now that he gets I do, every time. He steals all my girlfriends. <laughs> These girls, man, it's like they've fallen for the horse, and, and maybe some of them are kind of falling for me. You want to ride, Christina? Yeah. Hey, right, you'll ride. We can go off for a little bit. You know, Christine has jumped right up there, you know? I mean, didn't hesitate. Wow, this is so straight. Ah! Yeah, really cool. Wow! David knows that I like to ride horses. Ah, oh, there was such a beautiful view on the hills and like, the more time you spend with people, the more better you can know them. It was nice. Thank you, David. You're welcome. <laughs> After Christina, I asked Kat. You go first or I go first? You go first. <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> so are you having fun, Kat? 
Jessica. <laughs> you do? I'm having a blast. <laughs> it couldn't be any more fun for a guy, you know? Riding in the sunset. I never did that. I'm comfortable with Kat. She is a classy girl and, and, and great looking. I was really into it. I love horse riding. <laughs> it was a normal, easy situation today. Then I asked Linda, you want to ride? He asked me if I wanted to go with him. Uh, so I said, of course. And uh, we went uh, for horse riding. When he asked Linda to go to horse riding, I was a little bit jealous because uh, I wish I could have gone also. So you having fun? Yeah, good. especially on the horse. Right. <laughs> I had a good time with Linda when we went horseback riding. She's real honest and she's real, she just seems real pure and like a really good person. I think David is a real special person. He's extremely... Sensitive. I'm sure that when he falls in love, he gives all his heart to the girl. Let's go faster. Go faster? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that there's many people like this in this world. No, then, then there's something between us. And um, I am very scared of this. If you were a human raised by elves... That's ridiculous. We, we have to talk. My dad works there. Going to meet your real family for the first time... <laughs> You'd have some questions, too. Dad! Why is your name on the desk? Why is your coat so big? Do you have a best friend? Does he have a big coat, too? Am I sick? Why am I sitting on paper? Why, Why is there a skeleton? I don't know. Can I listen to your necklace? No, you can't. Will Ferrell. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Put that down. Elf, rated PG. <laughs> Starts Friday. I love that fire grill. Citrus thrill. Flavor fill. Chili's is the place for me. Citrus fire chicken. Spicy garlic shrimp. Chili citrus fire chicken and shrimp. Want more flavor? Hi. Hi. You doing all right? Mm, what? Perfect. Howdy. Howdy, right. Like that, huh? You look nice. Yeah, you look do. good. These girls, they all come out in their cowgirl outfits, man. All the girls look just stunning. I, I love their little boots on them, and man, they just gorgeous. I, did, I like the outfits. <laughs> he was so nice. He was wearing this black shirt and jeans and this nice cowboy hat with a big belt and a buckle on it. So he looked like a sophisticated kind of cowboy. Are y'all ready to ride some horses? Yeah, I'm super excited. They were happy, you know, and just excited about riding. Well, before we can ride, we have to take care of, like, some housework. We got to go clean some stalls. But it won't take long. We'll go clean these stalls out, and uh, then we'll, we'll no go on our trail ride. And we were like, oh my god, no. Everyone was so annoyed. No cleaning. <laughs> it was supposed to be dream day, David. Yes. Not date. It was good, you know, to see, you know, who likes that? Like Lena, for instance. I mean, if you think she's going to live on a ranch, think again. I mean, that girl ain't going to live on a ranch. Can you hire someone to do this? <laughs> We have cleaning the stall. Put all the stuff <laughs> Just throw it in the back of that truck. Yes. It's logical that you have to do some work before you can actually sit on the horses. I was basically just watching other people do it and like trying to avoid it. <laughs> I don't to get in there. What the hell is that? I, I just got busy shoveling horse. You want to get all this? Now we're going to go and 
saddle some horses and, and get ready to ride. After we cleaned the stables, there were horses and we could go ride on them. Linda and Kat and Anik, they loved it. Just this is, this is so much fun. David was much more relaxed. What's this? Yeah. These are rodeo shafts. Oh, like, they're so nice. So what I wear Look at them. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know exactly what you call them, but rodeo pants, maybe. You can really tell. It's got a nice butt. She's nice and perky and, you know, you can really get in there. And it was the most comfortable I've ever been, I think, on a date. Because, I mean, it's like a natural environment for me. It was sexy to see him on a horse. I finally felt that he was not acting to be the David cowboy guy, but that he was actually really David, who is a cowboy. So. Sure. Come on, we're going Christina asked me to ride Hurricane with her. Fun. He's good, huh? Yeah, he's perfect. I think it's very important to understand his life because it's his passion and it's very important to him. Yeah, at the rodeo, like you ride at this rigging. When you ride, like you, you lay back with nothing, you know what I'm saying? I think Kat and I might have had a little spark today. Uh, she was asking me all these questions, so I think she's really taking an interest to a guy. You literally like go flying <laughs> back. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I would love to go horse riding alone once with him. I'm staring, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. Jada, she kind of, she disappointed me a little bit. I think that if she'd have rode a little more, she, she could have had more fun on the date. <laughs> Linda's doing well. She is. Come, come, come. I, I think we can go. No, you haven't even got to run yet. That was my perfect, perfect chance, you know, to get a little closer with Linda. So, so I jumped up behind her and, and we rode together because she's she was her first time to ride <laughs> i think he wanted to help me and to make me feel more safe it was a nice surprise Go. Go. <laughs> okay i think he doesn't like me <laughs> no he loves you <laughs> He go, told me. Baby, go. Go. <laughs> By getting to know him more, he got <laughs> more attractive. <laughs> I think it's going to take time to, to win Linda over. She's not the type of girl that's just, just going to fall in love. Thank you, Dave. For You're thank you, very, baby. very welcome. <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> I had a blast. It was fun. <laughs> After we went to horse riding, we went down the hill and there was a little like tent area. He showed us the camping site because we wanted to go camping. He thought maybe it's nice that we can camp outside and uh, watch the stars. It gets better over here. <laughs> Actually, here is our shower. Yes. You just have to pull... Um, David, take a shower. This one? Oh! oh. <laughs> Bellissimo! I saw the tents and it seemed pretty comfortable. <laughs> nature, in the nature. <laughs> And then we have beer tonight. Yay! That is what, what I'm talking beer? about. Tonight, tonight, tonight. It's tonight. This afternoon. So finally, I get to spend my first night with these girls. Until they ever. Man, this this is great. Uh, I got to show these girls, you know, uh, kind of my life. Oh, food! Do you want wine, David? Please. Cheers, thank you. Salute! Salute! Yeah, we were all just drinking and a bit relaxing. It was just a bit more like having fun. Next time I see you guys again, I'm going to be speaking French or whatever. I like him much better when he's relaxed and not, not caring so much about what he's doing and how polite he is, how much he's drinking. <laughs> I'm into David, but I really think he likes Linda. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. David has a huge crush on Linda. David got so interested in Linda, so it made us feel a bit, what are we doing here, you know? After they saw the attention he was paying to me, the situation was, like, really stressful. 
Because she loves him and he loves, he loves her too. <laughs> I easily get like influenced by other people. If this continues and if other girls become more jealous or you know, just, I'm not used to deal with this. <laughs> After the dinner, David asked us if we would go camping uh, with him. We're going to the campsite. Yeah. Are you yeah. ready? Do we need Maybe this? Yeah. We'll take we it. Need need this. Do you want to change? Do you want to change your shoes? Do you like these? I want to buy. Okay, go change. Yeah, we'll we'll change. wait. Okay, I'll put on the party. Okay. They're all going to change. You don't have to change, do you? <laughs> These are perfect. Those are perfect. It's going to be dangerous. It is. And there's wild boars out there. That's what's mm -hmm. like cool. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like they'll probably be at our tent <laughs> when we walk. If you watch, we we'll walk down there and they'll cool. be right there. Adventure. I think Kat is a beautiful girl. And we kind of connected a little bit tonight. I mean, I, I don't know where it's going. Come on. We have everybody. Okay. All right. Now, Lina, you have all your girls. We can go. This party is right over here. Yeah, okay. I think oh we have my God! <laughs> we have light. We went down by the tents, tent area, and we were gonna have a beer. Mm, I like this Italian beer. It's good. <laughs> Someone I don't know who came up with the perfect idea to sing songs. Italy. Italy! Italy! Everyone sang like their own songs. I didn't know what the words meant, but it was cool. Now, Linda, you should sing a song. <laughs> Maybe. Something. That's good. That is good. What does that mean? It's a sad, sad song. That if if you if somebody's like um, heartbroken, there's no help. You should keep like keep on with the with the flow. Okay, we should go check out Charles' beds before we all go to bed. So after singing, he asked us if we wanted to stay there on the camping site or if we wanted to go back to the hotel. Just oh to make no, sure. this is not the way we're going to sleep. Oh, y'all are going to sleep in there? Oh, y'all don't have to. Y'all can I'm sleep scared. in there. I'm Maybe there's no, that's snakes fine. in there, sir. Sure. You can sleep I inside. I mean, it's there for a reason. Y'all should experience this. But I have to know who's going up and who's staying. Okay, I'm gonna go up That's all I have to know. Okay, going up, going up. Are you, Petra, are you going up or staying? The only one that I really think is a true outdoorsman is Petra. We camped out with the stars. It's beautiful. I actually decided that I was going to stay there. And Kat stayed there as well. And Petra and Alessia. Linda, where are you sleeping? Actually, it's I think I should also sleep inside. Okay. I think that uh, he was a little bit upset that uh, Linda left. I don't know. I can see in the face, the, in the eyes. I think he was like hoping that we would stay an overnight there. The girls, like they would start gossiping about me. I just thought I had to run away. I'm disappointed. Today I thought Linda and I were getting a lot closer. I don't know what happened. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning.
morning, Cat. How are you? Is there anybody else down here? No, no sir. Just no, the no, two. Last one. During the night, all the girls snuck back up to the house. Except Cat. She's the only one that stayed the whole night. Breakfast is being served up in the guest house. Okay. Have a good night. We'll see you. Yes, sir. Good. A lot night. of fun? It was. We had a blast. Well, all right. Uh, I'm going to go get clean. I'm going to get clean up. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, we'll see you up, upstairs. Up Thank you, Paul. Good morning. Last night I overheard the girls talking. It seems that they may be a little jealous. Oh, God. And be trying to convince Linda to leave. I do hope she doesn't listen to them. I couldn't sleep last night. The attitude in the group and everything became too, you know, too tough for me to deal with. I'm not good in, in dealing with like stressful situations, you know. I could tell. The girls didn't want me to stay. Good morning. 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 How are you? So squished with a headache. Yeah. 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 From the wine. I know her. <laughs> are you good? All of y'all are fine? Did you go right to bed or did you read some of your books? I noticed that Linda and David were having a, like a private conversation. I noticed that she was scared. She was a bit nervous to say it, that she actually wanted to go home. This continues and if other girls become more jealous or, you know, I'm not used to deal with this. I just didn't want to get into any kind of conflict, you know. Hey, I respect that. I wouldn't, like, talk about it. Right. We should talk about it, though. I just can't do this anymore. I just realized I can't. I would like to go home tonight. All right. I told him that I should be the one who goes home next time. I hope it ain't because of me, though, or because I make her uncomfortable. She told me, you know, she didn't really want to be here anymore. I was disappointed. It's like a little kid, you know, getting this bike for Christmas and someone taking it away. I'm lost right now. I don't want to let Linda go. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do at the elimination. to get to know a little bit about American ranch life yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Did you a good time? Yeah. Well, there will be an elimination tonight. <laughs> Thank you. So I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of the great afternoon you have. Thank oh, you. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Tonight, I hope that I don't go home. I think uh, David likes me, but you never know, of course. I'm not very excited about the elimination tonight. That's the worst part. I like Cinderella when they come back at home. I like, I respect, I want to know this man. Why, why not? I want to stay. I don't want to go. I regret in some ways, you know, what I did. And um, it's a pity for, for me and for him. David is absolutely dreading tonight's elimination because I'll have to say goodbye to three of you. For the six ladies who he has asked to stay, 
he would like to offer you an emerald necklace as an invitation to join him on some more intimate dates that he has planned for the upcoming days. Good luck. I'll go get David. Bye. I don't know what I'm going to do about Linda. So you've made your decisions? Yes, sir. You made the right ones? I, I hope so. camped with me all night. time with. Petra. Hello, Petra. Sorry, Elise. 
this is. You're a beautiful person, and you're so great. And I know. <laughs> but it's okay. I go to I go to find my boyfriend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I had a good time. Thanks for, you know, again coming. Y'all have fun and um, we'll be seeing y'all later. I don't understand really myself and I want to tell uh, David you don't know what you are losing <laughs> but it's okay because I want a man that wants me. You just can't give it. No. No. <laughs> no, it's very difficult for me. Don't cry this moment. I don't want to cry for me. I want to smile. I don't want to smile. Smile and champagne. Yes. Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> <laughs> it's a superstar in Hollywood. <laughs> okay? I'm so glad to see you. I never see you in this way. <laughs> and I try to don't cry because I want to, to give a, a smile. Wait. Salute! Cheers! Cheers! My friend. They wanted to get rid of Linda because she, he just really liked her. Cheers! Be strong women. I'm not saying that Linda is not. If I, if I say go and cook dinner for me, she will do it. David didn't pick me because there wasn't anything in common between us. Well, I regret the most that I didn't have a chance to explain it to him. I really hope that I made the right decision. I know it about myself that I easily get like influenced by other people. I care a lot about what other people think and what they say about me. And, and um, I get easily manipulated. I guess I'm not good in in dealing with like stressful situations. Linda kind of voted me off in a way today. It was a humbling experience. She's a great little girl from Czech though. She's, uh, she's really nice and I'm just happy to have met her. The attitude and the group and everything became too tough for me to deal with. I was not strong enough to face it. I just so sometimes I feel weak. <laughs> yeah. Not really the outcome David was expecting, nor any of us for that matter. Though Linda may be gone, David is hardly at a loss for dazzling female companionship. He can still lose himself in the charms and the arms of the lovely women who remain. And they're more than eager to please, as we'll find out next week on an all-new episode of The Next Joe Millionaire. Until then, as always, I shall be here, awaiting your return. Next week in an all-new episode of Joe Millionaire. After a tough elimination, David takes the girls on the first one-on-one -on -one date. Let me fun. cheer you up. I'm super excited to go on a date with him. This was the coolest date of all. A guy couldn't ask for more. As passion ignites, David wonders, is it him or his money? Linda has the greatest personality. Do you good. like saunas? Like, um, naked? It's always nice to see a guy half naked. This cowboy right here, he dropped four bucks on shades. I really liked it. More every day. You're welcome. I don't think she's a gold digger. The claws come out. The cat is a hoe and she's got to go. Leaving Cat on the defensive. All the girls find Cat a little bit rude. German bitch. What? It's not nice. <laughs>
It's down to the wire with six women left. David is forced to make his hardest decision yet. I don't feel real good about it. She was on the bottom of my list. I think it's gonna be me. If I vote it off, I will explode. <laughs> I will be like a bomb. Next week, an all-new episode of Joe Millionaire. Because the originally is in the museum. Right. <laughs> so it's like... Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, I, sh I should know that. Florence is an amazing town. The culture and it's uh, magnificent. What about all this stuff? We stopped at a jewelry store. That's when Petra seen this, uh, a purple stone necklace. You should do that in the night. <laughs> Yeah, I like when uh, people give me gifts. Yeah, I'm uh, sort of a princess, and I think every girl likes to have a present. You like? It looks good. I didn't look uh, at the price mostly when I like something it's expensive. You know what? We'll take it. No, we don't take we it. We do take it. No, we don't she take likes it. it. If we were in Texas, I mean, I wouldn't be able to buy her that. I mean, I don't have the money. I mean, I'd have probably been able to get her a snow cone, you know? No, I would really sweet. You bet. I think she would have been happy with just a snow cone, though. That's the kind of girl I think she is. Why well, are you hungry? Yeah. Good, because I'm starving <laughs> also. So what is this wine we're getting? It's uh, white. The best of Toscana. <laughs> I always go ask for the best. Good. <laughs> I just, I don't know anything really about wine. We have a fridge, you know? Have yeah. you ever seen the wine that goes like in the fridge, like yeah. in a box? Yeah. And my mom occasionally uh, drinks That's not that. so nice. Yeah, no, it's you... not near as tasty as some of that. Yeah, you stuff. can better have it in a bottle. It's yeah. gezellig. 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 Drinking a wine is gezellig. <laughs> Maybe it, we should write it down. Uh, yeah, I'll write it down for you. We have to make a toast. Okay. On Florence, Florence. Firenze. <laughs> Florence. Wine is much better in Italy than in a box in your fridge at home. I thought this day my mission is to cheer up David. To cheer up David. Yeah. <laughs> you did. We had a really nice time because it was not so formal and uh, I want that he doesn't feel so bad about everything. Hey, I'll tell you what though, I enjoyed uh, yeah. the day and you really <laughs> cheered me up a lot. Me too, so thank you. Yeah. Oh, I have to I go you. already. I know. <laughs> I had a, a really fun date. David is a nice, caring person, a cowboy with a good heart. Oh, what a place, what a place. Petra, um, she really knows how to cheer a guy up. This cowboy right now, he's a pretty happy guy. It's Joe to go. To learn more, text the word Joe to 36988. Premium fees apply. He's a very polite, honest guy. That's what I like. So I think it would be the best thing to go on a separate date with David alone because you don't have to care about the other girls. It is maybe weird that it's like this rotating date, you know? That he's like trying out every one of us. I think there's jealousy in I mean, it's not ugly, it's just not my style. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not my style. I'm gonna go for diamonds, baby. Yeah. Always pick diamonds. Big <laughs> rock. Biggest rock they got. <laughs> not on that one. <laughs> but it's one family in yours, baby. I want to go on a date with Dave to see if he actually finds me interesting and if he wants to ask me questions about how I am. I'm so jealous about that. How are you, Kat? Fine. You look great. You look great. You too. Do you like saunas? Like, um, naked? <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of romantic and a perfect place for relaxing. Hurricane. Okay. Cat and hurricane. Yeah, right. David. You don't look music, man. <laughs> He's uh, the perfect German. <laughs> German bitch. <laughs> Cat's first Nikki. And I think Cat doesn't want David. Ich bin eine ja. Ich liebe dich, David. <laughs> Bitte. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 
This was a cool place to come on a date. Uh, we started off in the, in the grotto, which is just like sauna. It's like a cave. When you when you're walking in this place, when you feel like a bear. I mean, it's I mean it's a cave literally, and, and you sweat. And uh, man, it was good. Uh, you know, kind of seen her in a swimsuit a little bit. How about some sweat? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Are you interested in sports at all? Or no, you do. What? <laughs> yeah. I've uh, I've done some like water skiing. Oh yeah. Are you good? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm alright. It's the first look into the eyes. Then in the first moment, you know, okay, that's a special person you're attracted to or not. <laughs> We were sitting there, we were talking about everything. <laughs> it was really nice. I knew we would be alone there, so there was nothing to worry about. Have you noticed she never moves her mouth when she speaks? It's like, yeah. yo, that is so... And I can't hear, first of all, she speaks crap English. Second of all, she's got this heavy German accent, and I yeah. really, I'm like, are you speaking English or German, you know? And then when she laughs, it's like... <laughs> and you can't understand, obviously. And then she tried when I was crying, she's like, with her sweaty hands all over my back, she's like cold. trying to be emotional, like, no, <laughs> don't cry, it's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna be off, don't touch me. So, how was it with Petra? <laughs> Petra, Petra's so cool. You about it. I tell you. <laughs> it went well, she, uh, she cheered me up, and you know, and she was like, just, she's cool. Cat, yeah, she is curious. She asked, she's like, you do the same with Petra? I didn't really want to talk about Petra. I mean, I could have just sat there with Kat for hours, but we had to go to supper. Hello. Hey. Great. Ready for supper? Ready. Okay. Gotcha. On our way to supper, I swear I felt Kat give me a tap on the butt. Wine uh, red? Red. Uh-huh. Uh, no, red's uh, great. <laughs> the best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Thanks. That, that's the easy way to say yeah. it. Yeah. Sure. I always do that in restaurants. <laughs> I keep having to remind myself not to cringe when these girls are spending my money. Um, I'm supposed to be rich. Let's Aww. see. <laughs> Yep, that's good. Okay. <laughs> that's perfect. All she does is she sleeps, she complains, and she's just yeah. giving bad karma and insults people all the time. Every chance she gets. Insulting that, that I don't like. Shut up! Time. Go and get me wine. No! Ich muss Wien trinken. <laughs> so, what are we drinking for? We are drinking for our first date, like alone. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Is that good? Not too heavy? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just like I do. Ask me again after two glasses. Okay. <laughs> That's Can you say, the cat is a hoe and she's gotta go. She's gotta go. <laughs> she's a hoe, she's gotta go. <laughs> So you, you have never seen a rodeo? No. And you have to show me. I would love to see. I would love to try it. It right. would be better <laughs> right. than seeing it. Are you kicking me? No, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give me what a Guess I have to drink wine. No more water. Oh. <laughs> but you were, were a bit more relaxed after the two or three glasses of wine. And you? You were too, right? I'm always relaxed. Oh. oh. <laughs> you want to walk around just a little bit? Yeah. Or what? You want to? Kat asked earlier in the supper if we would take a walk. And uh, we finished our desserts and we took a little walk around. Isn't it romantic? It is. I think it is. It is. This is the most romantic situation that I've been in. Yeah. For sure. And it's <laughs> happen with what? a better person. So, I'm very excited. <laughs> I don't want to say. I hope you're honest, but love is um, when you want to do everything for, for this person and do everything together with him. <laughs> OK. 
Kat, you're silly. <laughs> I'm uh, getting some exercise today, huh? I said I'm getting some exercise. I can give you some exercise. You kissed me. Just right. It was nice. It was a nice feeling. <laughs> Special kiss. No one's been able to make the perfect chicken strip with the right chicken. So this is chicken? The right breading. These are very dry. The right sauce. Ah! Till Wendy's found a better way. Introducing Wendy's Homestyle Chicken Strips. Big pieces of breast filet with your choice of delicious Heartland Ranch Deli honey mustard and spicy Southwest Chipotle. Nice. Try Wendy's new homestyle chicken. I'm Kat. I'm super sweet. When the camera's not there, I was so into smack her. Well, if Kat comes up to me, I heard you talking about me. Let's say it's fine. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Everything. No chair for me. Tell us about the super date. <laughs> Where did she go? Cat <laughs> is so not this type of girl because she's so fake and so false. I don't know if I'm going to tell them. If anybody asks me clearly, then for sure I'm going to tell them. You look fabulous, darling. Absolutely good. Thank you. Mm. We all feel like it. We feel like she's not interested in him. But tell me. What do we want to hear? If you have physical contact. Yeah. Did you yeah. have physical contact with mm -hmm. David? Was it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes, that there was a physical contact. Then they were like, okay, what was happened? You had sex, whatever. And I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, right. I was joking around. You had a great day then. That's the most important yeah. thing. I had fun. But did he have fun? Mm. I think so. I think so, yeah. He was happy. Sure. For sure. They might be jealous and that's what I don't want. See you in the morning. Good Bye. Good for them. We're here for the whole time together and we're talking about everything. Um, but I don't know if we're still friends we will, when we're leaving this house. Because I want to stay. I want to get the ring. <laughs> I didn't really tell them more because they are just making fun of it. So I can't really tell them what's going on. I know somebody's getting a big diamond. It is Angel and his cat because she's in love with David. It's really going to suck big time if I'm stuck in the villa with Kat. I don't like her. Nobody likes her. Today I'm going to spend some time with Giada and we're going to one of the oldest perfumeries in the world. Buongiorno! Yes, sir. <laughs> Giada was in a great mood today when she walked in. She uh, she was wearing a red shirt, and I thought it, it looked good on her. Hey. You look great. Hey. You look nice. Thank you. You're so well. Thanks. <laughs> you like? You like yes, I like. I really would like to have an opportunity to speak with him more, uh, to speak about uh, his life, my life, not uh, with the other guests. First date with uh, David. He spoke a lot to Jada. I think he would like her. Of course he likes her. She's like super pretty. Super pretty. Thanks. Super sweet. Thanks. Well, the rest of us are super ugly and. Silly. No, but I really think I think she's the most beautiful of, of us here. Think? Yeah. I don't. I don't think so at all. No. Uh -uh. no. Look at the glasses. They are original 1612. I was lucky because I've never been in that place and uh, it was absolutely fabulous. That's good, huh? Mm, I love this man. <laughs> I like Giada. I think Giada's a good girl. She's not going to be the first one to like yell out a conversation like, like a Linda. 
to be honest. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna prove it, but I don't know. He's a bit chubby, actually. I like that. I'm not being mean. I'm being, like, totally objective. I got small tits. I like her boobs, but she's got soft, beautiful skin, and I love her skin tone. But she does not have a perfect body, for God's sake. It's more that I like more, like, jadas, like, feminine. Mm, I don't know. I like that. But you are a very slim body, but you don't have a belly, and you don't have a big ass, you know? Yeah, honestly, she has a big belly. I'm sorry, but she does. I like rose. I like wood. wood. You have woody, Some, yeah. more woody Sounds good. Stuff. The perfume that uh, we tasted was the last, the last perfume that we really like. Yes, uh, uh, of course, there's alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> Not only. Did you with that? Mamma mia! <laughs> Mamma mia! She, she was actually looking at the price tag, and I was like, "What are you doing?" 135 euro, please. I mean, I got $80 million. Should I worry about it? Someone likes tall and skinny. Someone likes super skinny, like okay. a cat. Mm. Book. Someone likes you, like super, like modern, like perfect, you know? It's beautiful because I love Jada. But let's say she walked into a model and she, you know, her nose is not perfect. Mm. Her face is too small. If I would be a guy, I would get turned on by her. I'd probably get turned by you and you. Not by cat. I hope you enjoyed the... Yes, I really everything. enjoyed, mamma mia. <laughs> it's already finished. <laughs> I didn't have the time to talk with David, so I'm afraid that I will leave. And, uh, Thank you very much. Mwah, mwah. David, and, uh, I would like once, uh, please promise me to go to Hurricane. To Hurricane? We will, I will. Yes, ma'am. Giada is a great girl. She really seems to like me for me. And that's the type of girl that I'm here to find. Christina and me haven't got to talk very much. So I'm glad that I get to finally spend some time with her. Christina, you look great. You look Thank nice. You. It's good to Thank see you. Hi. Good to see you too. So the weather's not just right, but Hi. it'll be fun. We were supposed to have this real romantic boat ride on the Arno River, but unfortunately, the weather just didn't allow it. It was pretty dramatic because it was rainy. So we were on this little boat, oh, but it was nice. What is the swimming there? Can you see that? What is that little swimming? Is that a beaver? Lucia. Lucia. <laughs> I saw this animal swimming in the river. It was so cute. It's like a, a little bit like a red, but much nicer. Are you staying pretty dry? <laughs> we're the only ones crazy enough yeah. to be out here on it. The date definitely went rolling in the wrong direction. It starts off with Linda. She has to, you know, bring up Linda. But Linda asked me to tell you that I wanted to go to you that she wanted to go home. She just like no. it personal. Christina was hungry and we went to a little bar. When does school start for you? It's kind of two weeks. So you're pretty excited about? No. <laughs> no. She's so hard to talk to. I mean, a guy can barely get, you know, five words out of her. You know, I ask her a question and she's like, yes or no, and she doesn't express herself. So I, I don't know really what's going on in Christina's mind. Would you like cats more than dogs? Mm. No, I do have cats, so. But I, I mean, I like I like my dogs. I like cows. <laughs> the babies are cute. They are, huh? Little calves. Cows are easier to take care of than like mm -hmm. a horse and, mm. and uh, dogs. Yeah, cows are pretty easy. Once we had so much fun, my girlfriend, you were somewhere in the country, and those cows were sleeping, right. like while, while standing, right? Right. We were coming and pushing them. Uh -huh. <laughs> they were sleeping. It was you were? funny. Yeah. <laughs> like. She's talking about cow tipping. And I'm a cowboy. I'll get the check, please. 
a chance to call Linda if you put her number or something. Call Linda? Oh. I don't know if I ever that? talk to Linda again. Why do you keep talking? Why do you keep bringing Linda up? The thing that bummed me out the most was um, Christina talking about Linda. How bad things? She brought that up. I mean, there was no reason. I mean, I'm on a date with her, you know? I don't want to hear about Linda. Christina, she was, uh, she wasn't uh, very happy. Christina, I'm sorry, but you look like uh, the, the worst uh, day in your life. We talked about Christina's and David's date. I knew it was raining, and I felt really sorry for her. Like, I'm a little bit exaggerating, but it wasn't like that terrible, but you know, like... He was like, could you stop talking about Linda? Why are you still talking about her? I was like, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Christina, she was like totally pale and she looked to Kat and Kat, she didn't care at all. She was laughing. All the girls uh, find Kat a little bit rude. After the dinner, we spoke about it with Kat. I was a little bit upset when uh, you tell me you were so rude with me. What is the song of Puff Daddy that was uh, of Sting? Sting? And you did never say, you know, I'm sorry. I honestly can't really remember what kind of got the whole thing out in the open. Because I was kind of drunk. I don't want to be evil now. I'm just saying the truth. Okay, okay. the wrong way. Okay, you're stronger, right? I think you're being kind of rude. And I'm, maybe it wasn't meant that way, but it was perceptive that way, you know? I think Kat has uh, some problems with herself and uh, some attitude problems. When I made a conversation here by the door, you said, you don't have to talk to me, talk to someone else. What? It's not nice. No, it's Maybe. not nice. We were just being honest with her. She was not even shocked by it. It's, I think, more the way of, of saying things. Yeah. And that makes, if I mean, I also saw like the rolling with the eyes. Yeah, maybe they misunderstand me sometimes. But I don't want to complain about the other girls. I don't want to talk about them. Okay, I'm going to be totally honest now. I think Kat is a bit phony. I said that. But the thing is with Kat, she doesn't like David. She's bullshit. She doesn't like him. It's just ridiculous, you know? Maybe I'm totally wrong, but I'm saying that's how I felt and that's how I've been feeling. Maybe the other girls are a bit jealous or something. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't help my feelings right. For us, it would have been good if she showed emotion. But probably for her, it would have been better if she didn't. If anybody had a problem with me or my behavior, they should tell me before, not days later. Well, then let's clear it up. Two kisses. <laughs> I think she's a real snake. A real snake. Come on, baby, come on, give me a hand. I don't want to make you upset. I'm just saying this to be nice. So I really, I really don't know what to expect from her at all. It's like, it's kids Sure. Okay? Okay. Okay. We kind of like stop the conversation, you know? I don't think you can go on about it because that's not fair for her either. You're freaking weird, but I love you. You're <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> that was you so You are. Funny. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then we went to the swimming pool. I think she's gonna make more effort to be nice now, but it's gonna be fake. It's not gonna be real. I still think she's fake and phony. I still don't know if she's like really misunderstood or really not nice person. <laughs> no, 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 it's like actually. <laughs> I just feel I felt sad and um, yeah, I had, had a big headache and so I tried to go to bed. <laughs> He was scared, he wouldn't be. But I thought she was gonna have a nervous breakdown. She's not that tough. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can't control it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? 
I was suffering from a really bad hangover. And I got to sleep around 3 o'clock, I think. And so I was not in a very good mood. 8 o'clock? That's like in 30 minutes. Forget about it, I'm not. Melinda has the greatest personality. I don't feel good. I'm not going to go. Uh, it's so going to suck. You know every second what's going on in Alinda's head. Do I get a Gucci bag if I get up into bed? She's uh, respectful. Um, she, she's a classy girl. You are getting up because I have the hangover and it's so <laughs> fair. <laughs> I was really bitching about everything. You know? I'm like, I don't want to go in the day, don't want to sleep and eliminate me. But I hope I get to go shopping, of course. I'm a girl, I love it. Better be some aspirin in the car. Hello. She's just, just a Linda. I had a great time with Linda on our group dates, but I'm anxious to see if um, we have any feelings for each other other than just joking around. When we got there, Davis was there. He had a big smile on his face, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy, he's gonna take me now. Yeah, Looking so good. good, I like the shirt. You I like good? the pants too, yeah. Good. Thanks. Super. Oh. She's a fashion designer, so I thought, you know, the perfect thing to go with Alinda would be to go shopping. You like sunglasses? Yeah. We should go get you some sunglasses, I think. I mean, I feel like Superman when I can just be like, get what you want, you know, and just. Just hand it out like no big deal. I mean, I ain't worried about it. You know, I have $80 million. I like this. These ones are cool. So then I saw, of course, one of the most expensive sunglasses in the shop. It feels a bit weird, though, that you buy me this. I enjoy it. I see you hear the price. I don't think you're going to No, it's fine. I mean, this cowboy right here, he dropped like 400 bucks on shades. Mm, perfect. I really liked it. I think it's really cute, actually. More every day it goes. I wonder why. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy. The glasses look. They look okay. Primo. Yeah. Really good. Superstar glasses. Growing up, were you always outgoing and? No, I was the opposite. The thing is, I was very shy as a kid, very shy. Mm -hmm. So shy that it came to the point that it was unbearable. You know, you really people thought I was weird. I don't believe that Alinda was shy when she was younger. There, there's no way. I mean, she's so outgoing and, I mean, like a jackhammer right now. She's just, just going and going. You just have such an interesting personality. And, um, you're very outgoing and you. sweet. He was definitely showing the other side today, so that was cool. You're, like, pretty and you have, like, this beautiful attitude. And... I don't look at myself as beautiful or anything. I just find that I think if you laugh a lot to live longer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, sure. The conversation was good. <laughs> she was nice. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Was this where you had lunch with Petra? Petra. I think we ate. I don't even remember. I've ate so much. But you, you, can, you can afford it. Don't worry about it's, it. Uh, oh, Linda's just nice. She just likes to have a good time, and, and she's fun, and I don't think she's a gold digger. I'm super excited to go on a date with him because maybe then you find out that he's not only polite and shy and the cute guy, but maybe he's like a bit more funny and that there's more than we see now. Yes. Rockstar is back. Hi, baby. Where did you go? You want Florence? Florence. And I got this new Ooh. collection oh, sunglasses from David. I had a good time. Nice glasses. I got expensive habits and I, you know, whatever. <laughs> if he insisted, hell yeah, I'm gonna pick whatever <laughs> I want, you know? 365 euros. <laughs> 365? <laughs> no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've never spent in my life such a, a lot of money. Good to see you. Good Just right. Three, right? I remember. Me and Anique on our date, we uh, we went out and overlooked like the whole city of Florence. It was like.
beautiful. That's uh, actually the, the Arno River that me and Christina went on when it was born, <laughs> right? We started talking like right away and I felt pretty comfortable actually. I like your little braid in your hair. That's ah, cool. Thank you. I actually just did it in, on the toilet. Good. <laughs> it was definitely the most beautiful setting you ever asked for for a date. I mean, it was, I mean, it overlooked Florence. I mean, it's not like overlooking the desert. I got you chicken, because you eat chicken, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We were seated on a very small table. It was just enough space for like two plates and some wine glasses. It was cozy and fun. Basically, it was the perfect date. My mom, she does uh, accountancy for different companies. That's what my dad got his degree in, was accounting. Anique's parents told her to always be honest, and I, I thought that was a good quality. Yeah, I think it's good, because you can also arrange all my stuff, you know, <laughs> later on in the future when sure. I'm rich. <laughs> That's right. Anique is very, very attractive. She's tall, pretty. I mean, she could be a supermodel. What are you going to do, like, in the future? What do you... Do you know the A-team? Do like, I know what? The A-team, it was on television always. I'm not real sure. It's like this group of people that, like, um, trying to solve all problems with criminals and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And I liked it so much when the helicopter got up, you know, and flew away. So, actually, I want to still learn how to fly one. But it's very expensive. Right now, I'm liking more than I did before. So it would make me sad to not get deeper into David. Petra taught school. me a Dutch word, but I can't say it right. It's gran, grano or something? Grano, it means like friendship. Grapano or something? Or she said word? gezellig. Gezellig, that's it. <laughs> gezellig. Gezellig, gezellig. Gezellig is, gezellig. for example, if, if they ask me now, like, how was it? And I say gezellig, that's like positive. Gezellig. Anyway, it's an important word. I mean, this was the coolest date of all. A beautiful girl, Anique, overlooking a beautiful city, Florence. I mean, a guy couldn't ask for more. Buenasera, ladies. Thank you all, looking so lovely as always. <laughs> well, Florence, what a perfect setting for you each to have some alone time, finally, with David. Unfortunately, <laughs> you knew it's coming, I know. Two of you will have to be eliminated tonight. Ladies, I'll go get David. Ciao. I don't know who's gonna be eliminated tonight. It could be me, but I think it's gonna be Kat or Elena. I would like to know David more. But so tonight, if I vote it off, I will explode. <laughs> I will be like a bomb. I can't tell you how much fun I had on these dates with you. All of you are just amazing girls, and, and whoever gets you is, a, I mean, they're the luckiest guys. But I had to choose. These decisions are hard, and just please don't take it to heart. Y'all are all very, very, very nice. And I had so much fun. Mr. Paul. Petra. I really like Petra. I think she's got a good heart. And I, I don't think Petra's out for the money.
Linda. <laughs> Linda. Linda. Oh, Linda. It's fun. I enjoyed our conversation. We had a good date. <laughs> You're welcome. Anique, she was on the bottom of my list, and she seemed to move up to one or two now. A little more time, another date. I'm looking forward to, to being one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Barbecue sauce is serious business. Ingredients like garlic and crushed oregano give a sauce its... definitely have a spark in and we're attracted to each other. We're really, like, getting close. Oh. Christina and Chiara, please. Mm, I had a great time. Thank I you. Need a hug. Oh, I should be doing Texas. <laughs> sure. um, thank, so, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you. Yes, you <laughs> I guess I'll go. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. It's like set to go home. It's just a quick. I didn't expect to be the one leaving now. You know, you want to get to know these girls, and, and time is a factor. And just hard and you never know if your decision's right i guess it's kind of with life though you know the time has come i'm afraid i'll let you ladies know that tomorrow in the morning we are leaving for rome for three days yeah. so i'll leave that thought with you bye 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 now i'm tired to thinking about what's happened and i'm a little bit upset and sad that I had to leave. I felt horrible about tonight's elimination. I, I connected more with Giada than with Christina, but Giada, I really didn't want to let her go. I mean, she's a perfect girl, but it's down to the wire. I mean, you gotta let someone go. They can't all stay. I just really hope I made the right decision. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I haven't even seen it. I was like, yeah, give it to me. I can't. I totally think he's funny and sexy and good looking and, well, everything that you need and rich. <laughs> so it's nice that I can stay here. David likes me better than Christina. <laughs> David likes me definitely better than Yeah. Sarah. It's okay for me that they don't take it so serious because he will find out what's going on with them, so <laughs> that's okay. We so rule. You sugar daddy now, baby. You <laughs> sugar daddy. I like diamonds a lot. I um, I wish I could buy more, but <laughs> I'm working on that part. So David, get me some diamonds, please. <laughs> I really like all these girls, and I hope they like me, but for the right reasons. Because eventually, I'm gonna have to tell them what I'm really worth. And that gets scarier and scarier every day as the time gets closer.
is David really making the best decisions? The time is rapidly approaching when he'll have to make his final choice and then confess the truth. But not just yet. For the moment, at least, David is still a lucky young man with an $80 million fortune and the company of four beautiful young women. They appear to be getting a real taste for La Dolce Vita, and what better place to indulge it than in Rome. And you don't have to wait until next week to see what happens, because it's going to start right now. And I, for one, can't wait to see it. I have always dreamed about going to Rome and then being there with four of the most beautiful girls in the world. I mean, a guy couldn't ask for anything more. When the world seems to shine like you had too much wine, that's amore. I get to see Rome. It's a very romantic city and it's just going to be an exciting adventure. We drove to Rome and I see all new kind of things. Right now, I'm looking forward to spend more time with David and to travel and get out of the villa. I only hope that in Rome we're going to have a good time, a lot of fun together and get to know each other more. Rome is incredible. I've never seen anything like it in my life. We're staying at one of the most expensive hotels in the city. And the girls, I mean, they're going to be really impressed. We've got the whole East Wing all to ourselves. It seems that the girls arriving in their limousines created quite disturb. So much so that some paparazzi started showing up. There were paparazzi in the hotel. They're like all crazy. We had to bring the girls around to the back door. Well, you've certainly impressed Rome with your arrival, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> you were here, ladies. Okay. That was scary. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah. It's a beautiful hotel, isn't it? Yeah. Let's take you up to your room. Uh, again, you can have your choice of your rooms. Okay, I want the best room. <laughs> Oh, sweet. It's becoming apparent that the grandeur of the hotel and the rock star welcome the girls received is going to their heads. Superstars also wait. Hi, Paul. Is this a five-star hotel? I forgot toothbrush and toothpaste. I always get the lousiest. Do you get bulbs? Yeah, I have to put it myself. Uh, oh, we decided that. No, but Anik and me are staying next to each other, Petra. You know Hi. that. Because we're best friends and you're so not. My God, I thought, you're so rude. And then she acted really like a spoiled brat. You can take some joking. <laughs> you can have to be on my own next to... Why? No, we're going here. I mean, how could he not pick Christina? I so hate you. Elena, she's giving me a hard time here. I think she doesn't like me. <sighs> Kat, um, she's quite boring. And I don't like boring people. If you'd like to uh, powder your noses or whatever, we have a champagne cocktail up on the terrace. Cheers. 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 Salute. Oh. oh. Look, what's coming? We're going there. There's a table on it with David. Hello, oh, David. Ballon, do you copy? Come to Hotel Plage. There's a table on it with David. Patra, you said that five times. You say that one more time, I'm gonna shove you off the roof. Oh! Well, I when she was drunk, she was a bit mean. Where should he land the humongous balloon? There's no, no way to No, it's, it, it's that we see it and then go for it. She showed her character in a very direct way. Why? Otherwise, we, we have to stand on the roof. Because they're taking up our luggage. <laughs> That's why. The city's the most expensive place I've ever been to. Ladies, your luggage has arrived in your rooms. Oh, so great. you have the option of staying up here if you wish, or you can return to your rooms, unpack, get settled, have a shower or whatever, and prepare for dinner. Thank, Thank you. Thing. Where, uh, shall we go? Yeah. Okay, we'll go. Bye, Bye girls. Are you ladies staying here, are you? I'll just yeah. take these two down. If you fall down the stairs or something, this cat is like oh. accidentally fell down and died. 
cat was doing that sweet thing, like, I'm so innocent and stuff like that. And we all know she's not innocent. Chill. No, I'm going to hate her. <laughs> She's very aggressive now. Chill. I want to hate her. Chill. Um, no. Elena basically freaked out. <laughs> She's a gold -earner! At that moment, I was worried for Kath. You make me scared. <laughs> for real. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, folks. You guys obviously like... David. Yes, sir. It's time to go. Time to go. Yeah. Okay. This morning, I'm going to take Petra for a romantic trip around Rome. Petra! <laughs> Good morning. David is really a charming, sweet guy. Mwah. Mwah. Hey, man. You look handsome. Well, thank you. <laughs> much more relaxed. He's drinking wine now. David is drinking wine. David loves champagne. <laughs> and he doesn't say yes, ma'am, anymore. <laughs> Poor Petra. She actually had to go up on the date and she was wasted last night. I mean, I like Petra, but she goes on my nerves. You can be so cool. Shut up, Kat. Why hate? Why do you hate me now? Oh, oh. Not now. We hated you the whole time, Cap. Bitch. She's so bitchy because she have she hasn't for so long. That's why she needs something, you know. I saw a nice, um, honest uh, man. You know? Pinocchio? Pinocchio, yes. Yeah. He lies so his nose grows. I'm lying when I tell you I have $80 million. Uh, and I feel terrible about lying, especially to Petra. She seems so honest and such a straightforward girl. So smoking, it's very common in Europe, huh? Smoke? I don't smoke. But I think, like, out of all the girls, you're the only one that doesn't smoke. We went to see Mouth of Truth, a sort of monument, a sort of statue. I was sweating bullets going in this Mouth of Truth, because, like, legend, you stick your hand in there, they ask you a question if you lie. Chomp. All your fingers are gone. Does, Does Petra like David? Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's see your hand. It's not gone. It's still there. Perfect. I found out that she likes me unless she lied in the mouth of truth. Of course. <laughs> I'm always too full. Um... I was really freaked out about Petra asking me about the money, or even Hurricane, or any of the lies I've been saying. like waiting, praying that um, he wasn't like falling in love with the other girls. Finally, we went to the top of the Spanish steps where I gave Petra a little surprise. I did pick <laughs> no, up something it for you. <laughs> she likes to wear these little bracelets all the time, so I picked some up for it. Oh, I like it. And this one has a P on it. So I thought really? That... <laughs> oh, oh, I like this a lot. I like always them. Not too expensive gifts. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> you kissed them. I was happy to be able to get that for her. Because, you know, it wasn't diamonds, it wasn't gold, but uh, I think it had more meaning than that. I think David treats me like a princess. The queen rules, and I think the princess is loved by everybody. I'm a princess. Oh, Petra and I, I mean, we really get along. She's beautiful, she's fun. I really think she likes me for who I am. The 
soon as I got back to the hotel, I had to get ready, you know, for another date with Anik. You look terrific. Good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting with Anik some more. I think it's been going good, and I think that uh, if it keeps continuing, you know, and getting them vibes, that uh, something could happen. After you, just straight down the corridor. Anik, hey. hello, how are you? I'm fine. It's good to see you. Thank you. David picked me up in the morning and he had this little flower for me. So that, that was nice. So have you heard what we're doing today? No, not at all. We're going to the Trevi Fountain. Anik is very, very, very good looking. Every time like I, I get around her, I'm just like, this girl, I mean, she's stunning, you know? She's pretty magical. So squashing my flower. Right. And he's like getting more relaxed and funny. <laughs> I don't know. She come to surprise me. Uh, she's just really easy to get along with and we're becoming more intimate with each other. So it's not where I want it to be yet, but I feel that, that it could go somewhere. I'm, I'm finding out more things which makes him more interesting. What color is ear? So I guess all the noises. Just so the crowd doesn't spook the horse. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's nice when he's passionate about horses because I like them too. <laughs> he's a naughty little boy. Yeah, he's he likes like the bite. Maybe he's trying to kiss you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why not? You know. Right. Of course. <laughs> Anik was on a date with Dave and the girls. We had nice drinks in um, the hotel. When you come into the room, you sleep in the bed. Elena's crazy. Yeah? It's very disgusting. <laughs> no, I did it! You did I can't! You did get the <laughs> out of my bed! No, for real! I'm not doing it. Get the out of here, man! Sometimes when she was drunk, she was a bit too loud. It was very hard to be together with her in one room. Oh, I see baby shaking that ass. Kat said to me, I like this game. She said uh, she liked the game. Like the game. And then... Yeah. I'm like a psycho. In Rome, the Trevi Fountain, it's this huge fountain. And um, there's an old saying, though, that if you throw a coin into the Trevi Fountain, that you'll return to Rome. I have a coin for you. I actually brought an American coin for me to throw in. Well, I liked it that we went to the fountains because it was pretty and I never saw them before. Okay, whichever one you want to choose. I want the Italian one. Okay. And you have to look this way and then you got to make you got to make a wish <laughs> and you throw it in there. Okay. I wish for... Okay, okay do it first. Oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Hopefully. There. Did it? Cool. Yeah. Okay. You got to do a little wish thing and, and uh, it was cool. Can you also do three wishes at the same time? Three wishes? I, I guess you can. Sure. Okay. There it is. This is right there. Cool. I'm not going to tell what I wish. Because then the wish won't come true. <laughs> ah, I guess um, this is the restaurant. Where would you like to sit? Yesterday, I was walking and you had told me something that you had liked or that you wanted to be, so I picked this out. Oh, God. oh this is so cool. <laughs> oh, how did you remember that? He gave me this miniature helicopter thing because I'd like to fly a helicopter and he actually remembered that. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's so cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I think I liked it most because it was an original gift. It was just cool that he thought about me. Cat is definitely playing games. All of a sudden she like, mm, I like him so much, he's so nice. Ooh. And Orlando was saying bad things about me, I know that. It makes you crazy when you think all the time, okay, what are these people thinking about me? Then you start to act. I would not have a problem with telling her off, no. And I will if she does something. Bring it on. I think that Kat 
definitely has the potential to have a growing relationship. I would never kiss a guy who I'm not attracted to, so there must be something. Mm. Good, good to see you. See you look nice. You look great. We match. We're both <laughs> in black. Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah, you know what this is? Yeah. I know what this is. Yeah, I do. Good. <laughs> That is so romantic. Me and Kat, we went to this little cafe in Rome. Oh. We had a little supper and uh, just talked a little bit. Please have a try. It was really too much for me. You don't ever eat. You're a <laughs> very cheap date. You never had to buy me sunglasses for 130 years. 365 euros. 365 euros. No! Yeah, those sunglasses are like... 300, like, I mean, Three? those ones that Alinda? Yeah, they're like, I mean, it's like no big deal. Just a gift, you know? Yeah, they're really and, uh, cute. Man, I gotta just keep remembering that I have this money, and that $300 is nothing to a millionaire. It's hot, huh? That light is mm -hmm. hot. Oh, it's a light. <laughs> yeah. Cats are very forward. I will be full after this. Mm. She definitely will tell you, you know, what she wants. Right. <laughs> she told me, we're going walking, we're taking a walk. And I mean, come on, the guy ain't stupid, you know, it's nighttime, we just got through eating supper. I mean, I know what this walk's gonna be about, <laughs> right? Are you ready? I am ready, okay. always. we started walking it was kind of clear that he was he was taking my hand it was natural for him to do that i'm having a great time are you having fun yeah woman night for me it's much more romantic than any other 30s when we walked along the steps standing in front of us was a statue Horses and naked men. Oh, Good yes. Guys. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> That's what I like. Tell me, who's your favorite girl? As of right now, this moment, Kat. For sure. Easily. You like my tie? It matches you. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I think Kat, she is a girl that goes after what she wants. She's just not gonna sit back and, and uh, let you slide out of her fingers. She's a good kisser. We should, uh, I could show you my room. You like champagne? I like champagne. You do? I like the bubbles in champagne. Uh, you're fast today. I haven't even tried. It's good. <laughs> Is it? I would say David knows me the best now because I'm trying to be honest with him. I'm, I'm, I am honest with him. And all the other girls are just joking and I'm not so really into it. Want to go outside? Sure. Much. You like outside? Yeah. We'll go outside. Take your bottle. Take the bottle. <laughs> we sat on his balcony having a bit of champagne. We kept on talking. Is it true that you were in life with Linda? With Linda? I didn't even know Linda. What was sad about the situation is just like, I didn't get a chance to meet Linda. Yeah. I don't know, like if you didn't want to stay, then I would never get a chance to meet you. Kat brought up Linda, which kind of surprised me. But I guess, you know, she was just trying to figure out where she stands. I had a great time. Me too. Thank you very much for tonight. I'm and in. Um, I will see you soon. Okay. Okay, bye. We had fun together. He likes me the best of all the girls. 
we had a nice time. Mm -hmm. What did you do? We had some red wine and then we went for a walk. <laughs> Around the ruin. Cool. Then we went back to the hotel in the Rolls Royce. Cat was telling us about the date. And he got really upset. I'm jealous of the other ones having a good time. I'm like starting to have feelings towards him. And his room is great, isn't it? Mm-hmm. He's a good kisser, isn't he? Mm -hmm. You slut. Kat had a really uh, nice date and uh, thought that it was really funny to play this game with Anik. I don't like that. Laying there on the bed, I was thinking about David. I like to see him. I don't care about the other girls. I heard noise, and it's cat trying to go inside. David, sweet. David. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. <laughs> Somebody laugh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my. Yeah. I have come to destroy you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Give me your best what you got, Mr. Texas. Oh. 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 Okay, I go for it, okay. Yeah. Last, last. That was the best date. I mean, literally, like, I felt like I was a gladiator, like I was fixing to go to battle. David by mistake because my big sword. We were fighting and uh, Olinda decided to make up her own move and almost chopped off my thumb. Oh, okay. Olinda, that's cheating. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm David. I'm sorry, I kind of split. Because <laughs> no, I, I was just close to cut off his hand. Oops. And that was really bad. I mean, what do you expect from me, right? I suck. Oh, just run! Right. <laughs> you know, that's a bad guy! Take it in! For God's sake! My hand never I don't think anybody in the world could have said they had a cooler date than me. If you'd like to follow me, we have a Roman feast waiting for you. Great! Right. Huh? Well, thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Then we, we went for this Roman feast and we had some grapes and oranges and like bananas and stuff and cheese and bread and red wine, of course. Skål. 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 Cheers. We've had the coolest dates. I 
I think so too. Finally, I got to talk, and David's super cool. I like him a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, that's one thing you used to do. You want some more wine? <laughs> Dehydrated. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh yeah. God. You have to look each other in the eyes. Let's like, go. I think he had a good time with me. I'm really connected. We had a good date. I get to see the famous suite. I mean, you couldn't really get kind of romantic, you know, in your gladiator uniform or whatever. So I, so I invited her up to the room. Salute. Salute. Thank you so much for the evening. Wasted. Wasted. There you go. I really like David. I think he's quite charming. You can see he's got a sparkle in his eyes, and he's, he's a charming guy. I've seen a more intimate side with Alinda. I love the new side. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are those muscles, baby? <laughs> Can't imagine other girls. They're gonna hate me. I'm wanted in four states, but it's all good. Got me new driver's license and a sweet new pickup. V8, baby, 500 horsepower. Oh, and for them mud flaps with the naked ladies on them. Brrr, mamacita. And the best part is, it's all free. Yeah, well, for me at least. <laughs> I know there's an elimination tonight, but I don't know if it's like one girl or two girls. Like, I'm a really nervous breakdown. Right now, there's more and more chance to be voted off since there are less people. I would be very sad if I had to go. <laughs> it would be so funny <laughs> if she would show up in exactly the same dress. Yeah, yeah like, hi, <laughs> girl. Versace. <laughs> There's somebody going away tonight. I'm like, it's gonna be you because you wear the same yeah. dress as well. Yeah. I know. Uh, some drinks, please. Help! Shut make up, cat. <laughs> <laughs> so hate you right now. Yeah. For real. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> I'm joking. I was kidding. No, we hate cat. Just wanna kill her at that point. I basically told her that I think you're phony and I think you're fake and I think you need to change your attitude a bit. Uh, <laughs> I really funny. like the black dress you wore to, to, uh, today. That was hot, man. Nobody wants to talk to me. <laughs> Hello. Cat can be very sweet when she wants to. But honestly, I still think she's fake and phony. Good evening. Good evening, you lovely ladies. Hello to the four of you. I heard that the dates in Rome were absolutely spectacular. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful. it is. It is. And that David too had such a fun time with all of you, which of course makes tonight's elimination the most difficult for him yet. And uh, he will have to say goodbye to one of you. For the three of you ladies who he has asked then to remain here at the Palazzo, he would be honored to present you each with a diamond pendant as, of course, an invitation to continue on this beautiful romantic journey with him. So, ladies, I'll go get David. Ciao. Soon to be 11, three to go. Yes, sir. I hope you've chosen wisely, Grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Whatever happens, it's like fate, destiny, you're not going to get depressed. Yes, that's what I mean. Definitely. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm skinny. I'm so not getting worried at all. <laughs> I'm massive. I'm beautiful. What can I do? <laughs> You're just psycho, Orlando. You're gonna get a blow job. <laughs> Don't worry about it. As long as I can get a bottle of wine with me on the road, I'm happy with that. A good girlfriend. <laughs> Y'all look nice again, really nice. I feel confident in my decision. I couldn't have chose a better group of girls to be standing here right now. But you girls, y'all make it hard on me. I mean, it's just unbelievable how, how nice and, and polite and how much fun I had. I mean, we've, we've been together a couple weeks now and got to know each other a lot better. And I really appreciate it. And um, please, though, I don't know. Y'all know that I don't like to do this. You know, I mean, just don't. Well, I will take it very personal. <laughs> don't worry about it. But it's not, it's not personal. No, we know it all. Good. Well, Miss Paul. Things are moving forward with me and Petra. I like Petra's personality the most. Thank you, Petra. Thank you, David. You're welcome. to meet with Anik some more. If it keeps continuing, you know, something could happen. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. definitely have a spark. She's more romantic than the other girls. Thank you. Oh, Linda. Mm. Not, Very personal. <laughs> not rejection at all. No, You're my gladiator. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. seriously, that was the best date I've ever been on in my whole life. I had a and, great time. And, I um, don't blame you. Okay. No, you shouldn't. Don't, don't go away feeling rejected because no, but I it's don't. not that. It's okay. And don't worry about it. I want to say good time. luck to you in yes. your fashion design. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I had so much fun. Mm, me too. And if you're ever around the yeah. United States, call. I told you. Come so visit. keep in touch, you know. For Why sure. not? But um, thanks again for being here, and uh, we'll talk soon. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye. Okay, girls. I really like David. I don't have any hard feelings towards David at all. Uh, it's okay. What about it? Of course, you know, it sucks, but you know, that's life, right? And, 
You know, he's got a full ace heart, and apparently he didn't click, so... Oh, don't worry about it. So the show it. goes on, man. We'll keep it going. Hey, hey. Hey, don't worry about it. Let's drink. Can I have a drink for a little Oh, thing? yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Alinda are in... We're different worlds apart. Literally, like personalities. I, I couldn't see myself with Alinda for a really long time. Okay. Bye, darlings. Bye -bye. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. I do think that Alinda would like the lifestyle of $80 million more than just broke cowboy. I think the villa's going to be a lot quieter now that Olinda's gone. I'm, of course, happy um, Olinda has to leave. It's good that I can stay here. Don! Yoo-hoo! I'm done. I'm here with you. World War II. Holland against Germany. <laughs> Germany's bigger than Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but now we're bigger than Dutch. And more evil. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>
I'm still gonna fill it up. I don't want to sound spoiled, but the guy with a lot of money, he can give you this spectacular date. And that's good. I like that. I want to sort uh, things out with the two of us. And when she was rude to me, I said it immediately. If you're eating with me and you don't say for an hour on anything, that's not okay. You have to be social sometimes. <sighs> Just try to survive, yeah. I have to deal with it too, but I try to be like a little bit cheered up. If you don't have a little bit humor, then it's gonna be a really tough time. As I told you before, I'm only myself and I'm not trying to act. Sometimes you have to get over it and you have to do things that you don't like. People have to, have to grow up. That's, that's life. I so don't like you. All right. You just got through eating supper. You're flirting and getting closer. Are you tired? I'm not tired, but I'm not feeling like sleeping. Good. Come visit. You were laying on the couch. I was like flirting with him to to show him that I I'm liking him. And when like the electrical chemistry is there, then it'll always be romantic. And then he kissed me. Guys, uh, I'm a gentleman and I just need some privacy. Good night. Every day. <laughs> I'm nervous because he's going on dates with the other girls. I really like Anik, but after staying a night in Portofino, I feel that money seems to impress me. at uh, 12.30. So if you could be ready at 12. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm really excited for a date with David. And I'm really excited what we're going to do. But I hope David is not too tired uh, for my date. Petra! I'm attracted to Petra. I like her style. I like her hair, and I mean, she, she's a babe. Of course, it's nice to go uh, with a private jet. We were in the sky, and I was thinking, where are we going to? And then I saw the islands, and I knew it was like, we're going to Sardinia. And I was really happy because I'd never been there. We get there on the jet to uh, Sardinia, check into this awesome place. Hi. Welcome to the Canary Volpe, David and Pedro. David. Ciao. Nice <laughs> the hotel was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this one's nice. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, That's a beautiful. cool bathroom. I had the most beautiful bathroom ever. All kind of colors and all with the, all little stones. It's just with my uh, outfit. Mm -hmm. We had this penthouse. It was huge. I mean, it had our own pool up on, on top that overlooked the bay. Billionaires stay there. Not millionaires, but billionaires. And, and we had the penthouse. We look like a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really beautiful. This is. He had like expensive flip flops. He almost fell three times. <laughs> these slippers, I hate these slippers. 
They're some, some big brand slippers. I had like normal flip-flops, three dollar. You got 80 million dollars, I mean, you don't want no three dollar slippers. Oh. I can't even barely walk in them, they're like too small. I mean, I wouldn't pay like a quarter for them things. David, come on, you're a country boy. What does a country boy with those expensive flip-flops? We got to this beach that was just amazing. We couldn't wait to jump in the water. I'm going to rescue you. <laughs> we have an expression in Holland that you can't get the girl out of the village, but the village can never get out of the girl. It has to do with David, and I think he's uh, still a cowboy. I, and, uh, I like that. I'm going to buy you, like, cheap flip-flops. Yes. Shall we say first? Sure, you go this time. Your turn. Here is the spice Amen. 11 september, denk aan alle slachtoffers. Twee jaar geleden. Amen. Amen. Good, thanks. I like Petra. I think she's a special girl. Oké, okay, I make the toast. On your first trip uh, on the island. Right. And swimming in the ocean for the first, first time. Sure. In Close. Europe. Close. She's just real happy. We had a great time. She's good fun. We have to drink the whole bottle, baby. To <laughs> Evening with Petra that I've been looking forward to. Ah, that's sweet. I really thank you for bringing me up in Sardinia because I never went there. I had a really exciting, nice, great, spectacular date. Thank you very much. You're okay. very welcome. Petra, she knows how to just, you know, hit all the right buttons to make someone happy. Special Collector's Edition DVD. She'll take you above, below, and beyond. I wouldn't want to disappoint you. On a DVD loaded with so much action, seeing it once won't be enough. Discover the mystery with the hottest action film of the year. Angelina Jolie. I don't know what we're going. I'm sure it's going to be fun. I like David. We always have a great time together. Cat! Good to see you. Hi. Hi. I really think that Cat really likes me, no matter if I have money or not. That's nice. Right. David and I, there's a chemistry between us, and we're attracted to each other. I'm feeling more that his girlfriend every day. Flew to Naples, hopped on a speedboat all the way to Capri. I saw the island when we when we came there with a boat. It's full of mountains and cliffs. It's beautiful, amazing. Nice car. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cool. <laughs> I like this little place. Going over the complete, there's mountains around. It's a very romantic setting. The water is so blue. I've never seen water like this. Welcome to the hotel. How are you? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. The hotel was huge and it overlooked everything. It was amazing. Perfect. Perfect room. It was just beautiful, very nice, beautiful place. It seemed to be like we were on this beautiful bunny. Yeah. Yeah. It's a perfect spot to watch the sun go down. It is a good one. Mm. So it was a wonderful setting, a really nice place, and it was also a romantic date. It was very nice, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Are you trying to get me wasted? No. no. <laughs> what, 
one of your plans? I want to go into the music business. But my problem is I don't want to stay in Berlin. You know, I don't think Kat's here for the money. But in this kind of situation, that stuff's always in the back of my mind. That's her, I'm gonna see. Mm. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> this stuff is great. <laughs> I just love being with Kat. The way things are going, I can see myself spending a whole lot more time with her. You want to go back up? Mm-hmm. Can I take my glass of wine? Sure. <laughs> Bet. Uh -huh. I want to know every detail. Tell it twice, tell it three times. Of course, we're all interested in each other's dates. Who am I, David or the pilot? You're the propeller. <laughs> 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 I prepare for taking off. Anik told me that David was romantic. <laughs> At the first week we were joking about that David uh, didn't make a move on anybody. But no, now he's like attacking. That. And the more money he got, the more secure he is. part was being in this bus, <laughs> having this bubble bath. We had a lot of fun there. We were close and it was just amazing. Happy anniversary, honey. Yeah, happy anniversary. How are you doing? Good. Welcome home. Good have a to seat. see you. Have a seat, mate. Well, you've been away for a while. Yes, sir. Busy trip. Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, you'll be pleased to know that I've arranged for you to go up to the ranch for a couple of days. Just you and Hurricane. Great. Give you a chance to recharge your batteries before we take off to Venice. Yes, sir. Good. Stressed out, three dates, and I mean, I'm tired, you know, flying and jet setting, and I mean, it's tough. I wanted to relax. It's like, I just want to ride my horse. What David doesn't know is that someone other than Hurricane will be waiting for him. Someone special. When I left the show, and when I was by myself, and I could think this all over and um, think about where I stand and what I really feel. And I was almost there, <laughs> two hours before the flight. When I realized, well, I would like to tell him how, you know, good he made me feel. And then he, like, did open my heart. I was hoping that I could go immediately from the airport to see him, <laughs> you know, when I came back. I miss him so much. Just yet. Run off. Leave the guy.
I can't believe you're here. Yeah. That was like the last <laughs> thing I expected. <laughs> When I got to the ranch, I was very nervous. I thought to myself, I think he's, he still likes me, but what if, what if? He has probably no idea what I've been going through. After the elimination, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't, like, you know, I felt so strange. I wouldn't wake up with, like, a stroke of panic and, like, fear that I, you know, made a wrong decision and then, then I've ruined then maybe I ruined my life. Yeah, that I'm mistaken. I think it's just too much stress for me, you know, and uh, I just wasn't used to so much attention. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid. I didn't want you to go. I would like to go home tonight. All right. Ask me how I feel. What are you I felt so bad that I didn't have a chance to explain it to him. Or he probably thinks that there was no attraction between us. I was just too stressed out. And the atmosphere in our group was just kind of changing. And the girls, they, they would like start teasing me because of the attention you paid to me. You know, which was very flattering. Yeah. I get easily manipulated. I know I should be stronger. And I don't know like where it comes from. I guess, like from my uh, from my childhood, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to do? You want to ride her? Yeah. Or do you want to? Yeah. Uh... Grab a hold up there, and then <laughs> just right, perfect. I'm looking for a man like who would lyric like really be by my side and give me the support and and just help me, you know, to get through the life, you know, and like support me and it's so important for me. It was really great to see Linda again. I'm glad she come back to talk. It put some things to rest for me. What's your day like? Well, the dry cleaner needs to be dropped off the ground. David. Mr. Paul. So, was it worth the trip? Yes, sir. Uh, Linda, she showed up, surprised me. I thought you'd say that. Honestly, we were as surprised as you were when she told us she wanted to come back. Yes, sir. So, is this something you want too? You know, I don't know. Fair enough, but remember, if she does come back to the villa, then you're going to have to make a choice. You have to choose between keeping the three girls you have or eliminating one so that Linda can return. And this may well be the most difficult elimination yet. Hmm. I'll give you some time to think before you make a decision. It's going to be a tough time, I think, to decide who stays and who's going away. I said uh, for a thousand times, I believe in destiny. Is it my time to go? It's my time to go. Oh, well, just one more elimination to go, David. Yes. Ah, huh? yeah. Relax. So. <laughs> so. I think, Miss Paul. I think I can remember that. Um. You need help? First up and I then can. down, right? Oh, come on. Are you a waitress or not? We had different ones. Oh, okay. And no, I'm not a waitress. I was a waitress. I can't help you. Petra, great personality. She's the type of girl that 
could make a guy happy forever. Is that what you expected or unexpected? Interesting choice. It's Casper. Can I keep him? Can I keep him? It's Casper. What what is a ghost in ghost? Yeah? So it's um oh, there are guys. Casper had spoken. Casper had kind of guys. She'd be a great lover. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you never know, I guess. Me and Kat are real intimate. Have fun with Kat. I'm comfortable with Kat. And Little Mermaid. Klein as a mermaid. Not a Klein as a mermaid. Our language is so ugly. <laughs> a guy could, you know, want to spend, like, his entire life with me. She's a mystery, really, and she's gonna keep you wondering like the whole time. No, but um, so I heard that from a lot of people. The Dutch is ugly language. Yeah, it's maybe ugly, but there's so many expressions in Dutch, and also I like it. It's the same in English. Mm. I think Kat really, really likes me, but I do think she thinks you know it might be an easy way out, in Germany. Yeah. Again. Again. And again. Wasted. Wasted. Dutch girls are too hot to handle. Mm, nice. <laughs> no, it's not. Just a little bit warmth would be nice. With these big fires. Ask David. <laughs> David is making his decision for tonight, and when it is time, he will have to say goodbye to one of you ladies. For the other two, he would be delighted to present you with an aquamarine pendant surrounded by diamonds, signifying his desire for you to complete this journey with him. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Oh, what? Aquamarine. What's aquamarine? I thought when she said aquamarine, I thought he's bringing us with a boat or he's going with a Again, I'm very grateful for for everything and the experience that that I had. You ready? Yes, sir.
Petra. My face is fuller. It is. <laughs> It's perfectly okay. Thank you for it. I don't know, I just, you know, we all got close and, and, um, I don't know, if I ever call you for a helicopter ride, I hope that... I'll join you. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> right. Well, I guess, um... We'll see y'all tomorrow, and, um, sorry again, but it's my loss. Good night. afraid the time has come. I'll, I'll say bye. Nate, I'll say bye again. Just, but no, because no. I did not hear. Maybe not. I'm so You're glad so I've met you. It felt like insulted or something like that. And I mean, we spent like 36 hours on the date. Just, I really, really didn't expect it. And it just basically sucks. I just don't get it. Now we are here. have to move into my room. So Linda has returned, as if David's romantic life wasn't complicated enough. But what drew her back? Had she found true love? Or had she thought twice about the money? David may have to think twice himself. Once bitten, twice shy, as they say. And how will Kat and Petra react when Linda rejoins them at this late stage of the competition? Once again, no need to wait a week to find out, because we're off to join them right now in Venice, where new mystery and intrigue will shortly unfold. The next Joe Millionaire is brought to you by T-Mobile. Get more minutes, more features, more service. Kat and I were alone in the house. Mm. Feels kind of strange because all the others are missing. If Kat uh, is angry, is in a bad mood, everybody has to know it. I think you're being kind of rude. I mean, I also saw like the rolling with the eyes. After one day, you were so rude with me. Huh? It's not nice. No, it's Maybe. not nice. So now I'm the only one left. And I was the victim. <laughs> but when I had some conflicts, I think she doesn't like me. Cat sees this as a game. She has to do what she has to do. And I'm, I'm gonna distance myself from it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm staggered. Oh. It's 10 to 10 yeah. and you're up. There is going to be brunch at about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Oh, thanks. That's right. But first I'll have to ask you to accompany me to the Grand Salon. Samantha has a very important announcement to make. And if you'd be so kind as to take a seat here, thank you. All right. Good. It felt so weird. We didn't know what to expect. Good morning, Petra, Kat. I have to tell you that last night's elimination was a little bit different from those in the past. While we told David that he was to eliminate one of you last night, we also surprised him and told him to choose one girl who had been eliminated earlier to come back. And she has agreed to join the two of you for this last leg of the journey. So tonight, you'll be reunited with her in Venice. Ladies? Nobody expected one girl to come back. It's kind of frustrating, yeah. Wow. Well, so stupid. I expected everything, but I didn't expect that. And uh, I was thinking the whole time, like, who is it, who is it? <laughs> it's going to be Jada, of course. <laughs> he liked Jada. No, it's not Olinda, I know for sure. Maybe it's Anik and he changed his mind. Kat was a little bit silent. I like it. I like it when a girl is coming back. Or it has to be the first girl, of course. I didn't expect this, you? How could I? I don't like to speculate. That's too stupid for me. I don't play this kind of game. Maybe it's Linda. No way. She told him she wanted to go. <laughs> Maybe in the meantime, she desperate in love for David. Why are you upset about it? No. I'm not upset. Kat sees this as a threat. So, let's go to Venice. Yeah. Hit the road, Jack. David and I, there's a chemistry between us, and I would say we've got a special relationship. I was the first girl he kissed, and that's, that's good to know for me. I don't care about any of the other girls. Amazing. It's beautiful. Oh. Here we go. There. God, everywhere. I'm already used to this lifestyle now. So, and who's the next girl who's going to invade our life? The girls are like, probably wondering why I'm back. And I thought maybe I missed the biggest chance in my life to meet such a special person. I just don't want to hurt anybody. We were sitting in this most beautiful hotel and we were knowing there was something going to happen. TV. Cable says reception quality is poor with satellite TV. Lies! My reception is way better with direct TV than it ever was with cable. So David has chosen Linda to come back. It was a big surprise. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I'm a surprise, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. okay. It surprised me that she's back now because she had her own reasons to go. I would like to go home tonight. All right. I, I know, I know. I know. That's why I think you never come back. Yeah. Once you go, I know, but I've been 
I don't know. You I know, I didn't have to like decide for a long time. But like, like, why did you okay. decide it? <laughs> Well, because for it's sad. For David or for Venice, we want yeah, to know that, of course. Comfort. I don't feel comfortable about talking about what's going on between us. It makes me nervous. That's interesting. Why because did you of us? Because, because, of David. because of the adventure. I don't think she came back because of her feelings. So it's only because of the um, excitement. Yeah, what did oh. I, I miss? I was um, in Sardinia, yeah. Ireland. Oh. With the such a beautiful time. I was swimming in the ocean, beautiful hotels, the hell time. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. And it was really nice with David. I thought, hmm, maybe I'm interrupting the girls. I have some feelings for David. And the question is, what is David going to do now? Oh. Where did you go to? Capri. Capri. Oh, also with the jet? Mm -hmm. Really? Then with the boat to the island. And I thought, oh. oh. <laughs> I missed the best part. I tried to tell her everything, what was going on here, because she missed so, so much. She missed the whole experience, the whole journey. So tell me, what else happened? I was in Montecatini. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What did you do there? I was in a sauna, sitting there, talking then for dinner. Really? Naked? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, mm. yeah. what are you going to say today for when you see him? I don't know. Well, I guess he knows. Yeah, hey, I'm back. But how, how, does, how do you think he's going to be up? I don't know. I hope positive. Well, of course he's going to be positive. Well, it makes me a little bit nervous that the girls they don't know that we stay together at the ranch. I'm having a hard time like hiding my emotions in front of the girls. <laughs> what was that? Petra, I have a gift for you. David has purchased this elegant dress for you to wear tonight on your date. <laughs> you it's really, Petra. Yeah, nice. Paul came in and he said to me, Petra, you have to prepare yourself because at nine o'clock you have a date. I'm going on a date. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> what if uh, while I was gone, something happened between David and the other girls that I don't know about? Yeah. This house is full of surprises. <laughs> I just want to let the story develop. I want to, David to make the decision. I'm uh, sort of a princess and I think David has the possibility to be a good prince. <laughs> you look great tonight. Thank you. you. Every time I'm around Petra, I'm in a good mood. You look very nice. Thank you. Thank very you very nice. much. Sometimes you have to be chic. Tonight I'm taking Petra on this moonlight cruise to this special spot where we'll have supper under the stars. But I have to say, I'm definitely worried how these girls are going to feel about Linda coming back. Because I have their confidence, I have their trust, so these girls obviously are going to think it's jacked up that, that Linda's back. I'm going to have to, you know, do, I mean, I don't know, a lot of kissing butt, I don't know. I mean, you got to keep these women happy. I'm so excited that, like, you're here. Because ever since, like, the first day, Petra, like, I was like, there's something about Petra. I'm very happy with the Dutch girl that has remained. Aww. You won't believe. Yeah, David was really open. Uh, I was surprised. And I really uh, liked that when somebody is so honest. It was really sweet. Stimmt. Okay, Geheimnis. Das wissen die anderen nicht. Er hat schon beim Date davor gemacht. Ich habe mich davor schon mal geküsst. Ja. Hm. <lacht> hm. Also okay. Ja, ich war ein bisschen jealous, when I heard that because David was the one who made the move. Nicht. Das ist einfach, das ist das, ist das Spiel. Ich 
schön schreiben. Ich bin sicher, dass das probieren wird. I started to doubting his feelings for me. And I thought, when he's kissing all these girls, <laughs> maybe I'm just the next in the row. To kiss somebody or to hold somebody's hand, it's very intimate for me. Maybe it's not so special for him to kiss a girl. A cowboy in Venice. <laughs> Just wrote. Oh. And hope it's going to be all right after all. Yeah, I really think she knows that, like, I'm trying to, to be someone I'm not. He bought a boat, a private plane, mm -hmm. wearing only Italian labels, but only caviar on his bread, no and way. drink champagne. Yeah, if she only knew. I mean, I'm a cowboy. When I get back home, I'm going rodeo. And I've picked you up some little gifts. But I didn't know what she likes, so I was like, picked out a bunch of them. He understands what somebody likes, and he's really responding on that because he gave, uh, gave me like bracelets all the time because I love bracelets. Like, I, I love you with all your bracelets on. Yeah, and you, but it's too much. <laughs> I'm the kind of girl who likes simple gifts. Ah, oh, that's really sweet. Thank you very you much. Petra really likes, uh, she likes that weird stuff, and she liked the bracelets. She even put some on at supper. What was that one? Beautiful, the beautiful violins. Where did you get the orchestra? Oh. <laughs> we heard the violins playing when all of a sudden this opera singer appeared. We were sitting there for the opera singer and watching the moon and the stars. And uh, it was really romantic. I don't know I don't know what romance is, but I think at one point, you know, I had this feeling for it. You know, it's just like, um, how can I say this? The city of love, you know, it's, it's this feeling, man. I was thinking the whole time, he's pretty hot tonight. <laughs> Petra's just out of this world. <laughs> of course, after such a date, it was really nice to give a kiss. It's so uh, cliché that a man walks a girl to her room. And I said to David, I'm going to walk you to your room. I knew that. Yeah, he wants to kiss me. And I said, like, yeah, why not, you know? <laughs> we had a really good time. <laughs> She wasn't what the students expected. Why aren't you married? <laughs> wow. She wasn't what the faculty wanted. Change takes time. You gotta let them catch up with you. But she's exactly... Oh. Let's go out dancing. ...what they needed. You're the one who said I could do anything I wanted. Julia Roberts, Kirsten Dunst, Julia Stiles, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Mona Lisa Smile. Surprise! Rated PG-13. Oh. In theaters everywhere. <laughs> morning, Linda and I are going to have a sunrise breakfast in St. Mark's Square. I'm having these mixed emotions. I'm excited that I get to know Linda a little better. But at the same time, I have these two other girls who I have feelings for. Lost time with Linda definitely, you know, puts a halt to, uh, to how you feel. Well, when I found out that I'm able to come back, I was, I was so happy. 
When I left, I was like thinking about David so much and I just knew I had to meet him again and there is some future for us. Linda! <laughs> Good morning! Hi! How are you? Good morning! Good to see you! <laughs> How when I doing? first saw him, I was like excited to see if there is still a sparkle in his eyes, if he likes to see me. So I had to start my morning off right, so yeah. I had to see you for sure. <laughs> I'm really thankful I could be here. I just really wanted to see what his body language would tell me. And uh, it told me that, that I still have a chance. <laughs> Well, we will start with breakfast here. Here's our table. I didn't know what oh our table was. Oh my God! But what a beautiful spot. For you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I know I've told you like a hundred times, but I can't stress enough how happy <laughs> really? that you come back. Aww. When she left, I was sad. I wouldn't be like that with just any girl. I had a great time at the ranch, too. You did? Yeah. Good. I went to. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I will remember it forever. It's like such an extraordinary experience for me. Mm -hmm. And I also, ne I would never think that I would meet, you know, that. I would mean such a nice person. <laughs> when you wanted to leave, it was hard to let you go because, like, there's something else too. It wasn't. I mean, you stood out uh, definitely among all the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <wanna> be blushed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the breakfast. After breakfast, <laughs> we took a walk through Venice because we weren't quite ready to say goodbye. And it was kind of chilly, so he took my hand. And uh, it felt good. <laughs> he made me feel warmer, and it was very nice of him. This has been something more than I expected. Thanks to you, of course. You know, we were supposed to meet again, so we did. I believe in destiny and in how things should go. My dream came through. <laughs> Her heart is just... The best heart. I mean, I don't really even know her, but I just know, like when I say that, she's got a great heart. My heart is full of love, <laughs> and I'm ready to give it to him. It's so beautiful in here, huh? This is a great place to take a picture. Oh! <laughs> so you must you have a camera? Big smile. Oh God. Hold on, let's see. Can you get it just <laughs> right? Big smile. Perfect. Oh, Look. let me see. Very pretty. Oh. oh, I take one of you. Did it work? Perfect. Nice. <laughs> huh? You're obviously having a good time. Hmm. <laughs> I hope I made you happy. <laughs> but I have to give you a little bit of hard time. <laughs> I didn't want to tell him that I know that he has been kissing these girls. He could do whatever he wanted to, right? He thought he would never see me again. I've heard some rumors. You heard some rumors. <laughs> about some other girls. About they, what? About some other girls on the show. That right. <laughs> that I so liked. I wanted to make sure, yeah. If she knew a guy was going around kissing all these these girls, and I think she would think that, you know, he's unsincere, you know? I mean, he don't like me. And I don't, because that's not the case at all. I mean, I, I understand it must have been difficult when I was gone. I'm sure you were trying to establish some new relationships. I'm put in a situation where I got to date, you know, 14 girls. I mean, I mean, that's tough, you know? I mean, you're gonna kiss, and... But at the bridge of size, and I was looking at her, and I was like, dang, I think it's a pretty girl. I mean, I gotta make a move, right? I tried to kiss her and I felt she pushed away and I'm like, 
you know, she don't like me. Mm. But I... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It makes me feel like odd, you know? Well, I guess we... I don't know what's going on. I mean, why... Why would you not kiss somebody? Why would you pull away? I like David, yeah. I would say we've got a special relationship. We fit together, we've got the same feelings. It's totally different than it was years ago. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, yeah. You doing good? Yeah. Are you ready? I am ready. Kat, she's just, she's amazing. Every time I'm with her, we, you know, we grow closer. And I mean, I don't know, you know, what, what's the limit with Kat? She's, uh, she's special and very romantic. That's why I wanted to like go on a gondola ride, kind of all through uh, the city of Venice, the city of love. Bring um, Linda back after the elimination of Anise. <sighs> Do you like something to drink? <laughs> he tried to tell me, okay, this wasn't my decision. And I was like, hey, you don't have to excuse anything. I'm not jealous or anything. Yes! <laughs> Just right. David and I, we had a lot more time together, and I knew him much better than she does. <laughs> A gondola ride. In Venice. <laughs> In Venice. <laughs> the most romantic place on earth. Linda came late, and I mean, I just can't throw what me and Kat built. As I was through the town, I had picked you up a gift. A little gift. It's what? not much. No. And I hope you like it. I don't know. It's um, a belt, but it's like really... really? Yeah, and it, but you weren't, you know what I'm saying? Like you weren't really low. Do you like it or no? Oh, yeah. Are you of sure? Because yeah. I have a hard time. It feels it good. I like when you give them these, uh, sure. these gifts, their eyes just light up. And it's like Christmas time. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we got to see how it goes. Go, if you cut it, it looks good. It's cool. And those are all like real. Well, I don't uh, know what they are, but they're. <laughs> but a thousand dollar chain belt. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a lot of money. asked me to deliver these two bags to you. David sent over a gift for me. Beautiful, elegant black purses. I just thought it was amazing. I've never received such a beautiful gift in my life. It shows me that he's such a gentleman and such a loving person. And and he wants to make me happy. It makes me very, very happy and excited. It was romantic to sit there next to each other and he put his hand on my knee. Warm. Warm? Warm. It felt nice to have this, this kind of body contact. Kat and I have a relationship Almost like a girlfriend boyfriend would have, I think. Mm. I mean, Kat are real intimate. Have fun with Kat. I'm comfortable with Kat. She's the type of girl that could make a guy happy for forever. Chemistry between us, it's so different now. When I look back to the bar, it was just one guy standing in front of me, one cowboy. I, would, I never expected him to act or to be like this. I can't compare it with the beginning now. It's so different. I don't know if it's love, but I know it's something different. There's something else there. <laughs> I think it's possible to fall in love, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Maybe nothing but happy. Every time I'm with you, I've always been happy. Told me once, twice, <laughs> maybe more time, that he really loves to spend time with me. That's, I was very glad to hear. It's Michael. I
It's kind of like that. Sierra Mendes. That he really enjoys the time with me and he had um, the most fun on our dates but um, maybe he also tells the other girls I had the most fun with you so he said like Petra you're really my favorite and I believe that and I have a good intuition about that unfortunately tonight David may only present two of you with diamond bracelets These bracelets signify his wish for you to take the final step in this romantic journey. <laughs> Buenos Aires. I know how Kat feels for David, but I don't know how David feels for Kat. But I would never say I think he likes me the most because I'm really not sure about that. Maybe I'm going to be eliminated tonight. It's a roller coaster, a lot of emotions, confusion. Um, you know, I realized a lot on all my dates, we all have something in common. You know, we all were just like the stars, you know, are the prettiest or the sun in the morning or the water and it was all like given to us to everybody it wasn't bought and um like i just want to thank you for like sharing that with me but um i hate this i hate i hate this decision but Linda. to tell you I have had the most wonderful time with you. There's been times when I was just so depressed and I was like wanting to go home and like the very next day you come to me and you're like I'm here to make you happy. I'm here to cheer me up. Yeah. And like I wish I was more like you. I wish that I seriously like I'd have like your your personality and Aww. your beauty. It was great. I've, every day has been a gazelle. Yeah. Dream. 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 Okay, thank you. Thanks. Well, um, I guess I will see y'all tomorrow. Good night. It's hard to say, but um, after Petra is gone, I feel better. I was actually a little bit surprised because I didn't know much about Linda's date. Um, 
I thought like uh, he knew Kat more and me uh, because we spent like more uh, dates with him. What I learned about this, that you always have to trust your instinct and try to be fair and try to be honest. And I tried to do that also with David. When I first started this, I had no idea I'd be this twisted inside. Now it's down to Linda and Kat. I, I don't know what to do. What's a young fur millionaire to do? We'll find out next week in the season finale of the next Joe Millionaire, when David will have to make his final choice and then reveal the truth. Will he succeed in finding a girl who loves him for who he really is? Or will he discover that the girl of his dreams was only ever in it for the money? Until then, as always, I shall be here awaiting your return. Next week on Joe Millionaire, the two-hour finale is finally here. It's down to two as the ladies battle it out for David's affection. I know that she never fell in love with him, otherwise she would have never left. And I just jumped in and now he has to like, deal with the situation. The lie was just getting to me and I was just freaking out. Then David must choose the woman of his dreams. But once she finds out the truth, how will she react? I don't have any million dollars. Everyone will be shocked at the way this Joe Millionaire ends. It's not what you think.